holiday season seems to be the place to explode on complete strangers. This has really helped me to respond to stressful seasons such as the holidays where we are experiencing right now. Wait, I just forgot what I was saying. We're all very aware that there will be some people that have a really wonderful time during the holidays. They will be kind, they will go out of their way to help other people, they will be gracious to strangers. And then we have those that are going to be triggered during the holidays. They're going to have a lot of pain that will surface because they haven't been healed yet or discover that they can be healed. They will also have pent up anger that they have not worked through. Being sensitive with these individuals who are still hurting. I totally get it. It took me time to find my healing as well. However, until they can find healing, until they can learn to regulate their emotions, we have to learn how to respond to hurting people during the holidays. This is a very simple trick. This trick is so simple. You're going to be like, what? What? It works. It totally works. When something happens where you can easily be offended or offense can enter your heart because somebody behaved in a way they should not have, you can choose not to receive the offense. You can choose to quickly forgive them, quickly bless them, move on your way, and not allow allow what's coming from them to enter your world and your heart. And this is easily done by saying to yourself, <laughs> By saying to yourself in your mind and in your heart, I forgive them, Lord. I choose not to hold on to offense and I let offense go. This can also work within our home. Your emotions will follow. The more that you do this, the more that you will find it becomes easier and easier not to harbor offense in your heart towards anybody else or to allow certain negative thoughts to ruminate in your mind because somebody hurt you. Just letting it go, releasing that person to the Lord, moving on with your day and choosing to hold on to your joy and your peace in this holiday season is going to be the trick. Now, the first couple of times I did this, it was not easy, but over time it became a habit where if somebody honked at me while I was going too slow through a stop sign or too slow at a green light, instead of being upset, I would just quickly say, God bless that person. They need you right now. They're getting easily frustrated with me for no reason. God bless that person. I choose not to hold a fence against them and I move on with my day. Or if somebody cuts in front of me in a line at a grocery store because their time is more important than anybody else's, I bless them. I release them to the Lord and I forgive them. I don't hold on to it and allow it to impact me and my emotions. Now, if the offenses are greater than this, that's going to be a whole different topic, but this is the small offenses that we can hold on to that can actually pile up and ruin our day and eventually our entire holiday season. The greatest thing about all of this that I have discovered, the more that you bless people who offend you or who attempt to offend you, the less people come across your path being offensive. I think the enemy doesn't want me to bless these people. I think he doesn't want me to pray for them. Unless God wants me to pray for somebody, they will completely be triggered in front of me in a very big way. And it won't be slight. It won't be small. It will be very intense. And then I know God really wants me to bless and pray for that individual. So he's allowed them to manifest their issues in front of me, whether it be demonic strongholds or pain, choosing to let go of offense, choosing to release people to the Lord, it's going to keep you at peace and have a joyous day and celebration with holidays. I've talked enough. I'll see you later. Bye.